What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make awesome looking thumbnails using Photoshop. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and open up Photoshop. And once Photoshop's opened up, go ahead and go to File, New. And then uh, make sure that the width and height is uh, 1920 by 1080. And for the background, you could just leave it black or whatever you guys want. And just go ahead and uh, click Create. Now the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to look for a background. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up some graphics packs that I have. So I'm going to go to file, open, and go to graphics packs. I'm going to go ahead and open up this one right here. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and look for a background here. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and select this background. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag it to my project. Just go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and resize. So in order to resize, uh, go to Control T. And you should be able to resize your image. And go ahead and click OK. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to go to uh, Hue and Saturation. And then I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. So I think that looks good right there. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text tool. And I'm going to go ahead and type uh, make awesome thumbnails. And the font that I'm going to use is American Captain. So if you guys don't know how to download free fonts or get free fonts, I do have a video on how to do that. So uh, I'm going to leave that in the description so you guys could check it out. But uh, once you got the font that you want to use, just go ahead and type uh, make. And then we're going to. Go ahead and click OK. Hit Control T to resize. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I think that's too big. So make it a little bit smaller. I think that's good right there. So go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to move it up here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click, duplicate layer, click OK, drag this down, and double click on your text. And go ahead and type awesome. And then just drag this, click OK. And right click, duplicate layer, click OK. And then go ahead and type thumbnails. And make this a little bit bigger and click OK. Now I'm going to just go ahead and adjust my text. So bring this up a little bit. And then thumbnail. All right, so once you're done with that, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, add some strokes and color to my text so it could uh, look a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the text that says Make. Go to Blending Options. And then go to Stroke. Make this a number seven and make sure that the position is outside because if it's inside, it's going to look weird like that. So make sure it's outside and I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow and go ahead and copy these numbers and now some outer glow and I'm going to leave that color like this. Click OK, uh, copy these settings right here. And I think that's it. So go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to select the awesome text. Right click, go to blending options. Go to stroke. It's going to be the same thing. Seven. Uh, drop shadow. For the drop shadow, the same thing. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on gradient overlay. Make sure that the opacity is up to 100. And select the one that's uh, black and gray. Then I'll go ahead and double click on this little square right here. And we're going to change the color to blue. Uh, click OK. And now right here where the white's at, double click. And we're going to change that. And I think that looks good right there. So click OK, OK. And now we're going to go ahead and add an inner glow. So. Go ahead and select it. 
and go ahead and copy these settings right here so 15 and 10 and then for the color we're gonna leave it like this so if you guys want go ahead and copy the number for the color click ok and I think that's good right there so go ahead and click ok again now for the last uh, text go ahead and right click blending options we're gonna go ahead and add the stroke the drop shadow and the outer glow and I think that's it so go ahead and click ok and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the the YouTube logo on the side so I already have it saved on my uh, computer so I'm gonna just go ahead and go to file place and then this one right here and I'm gonna resize make it a little bit smaller and whenever you resize an image make sure this is selected right here like that you won't lose the aspect ratio and then just make it a little bit smaller I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color so I'll right click blending options uh, color overlay and I'll make it white add a stroke an outer glow and drop shadow click OK and uh, right click duplicate layer click OK and just drag it to the other side and once you think you're done with your thumbnail uh, in order to save it you just go to file export export as and uh, change the format to JPEG and then go ahead and click export all and name it whatever you guys want so I'm gonna just leave it untitled and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then click save and yeah guys this is how you create a thumbnail using Photoshop so hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one